video will lack the liquid problem longest repeating character replacement this problem is a classic example of using the dynamic sliding window technique to find the longest substring at with utmost k replacements we'll walk you through the problem statement efficient approach to solve and a step by step breakdown for better understanding let's dive in so the problem statement is you are given a string s and an integer k you can choose any character of the string and change it to any other upper case english character you can perform this operation at most k times return the length of the longest substring containing the same letter you can get after performing the above operations so if we uh, see this problem clearly they said that like uh, in a given string we can replace any number of characters but at k times only k replacements can be done but after this we should we should return the length of the longest substring with the same character so basically in example 1 uh, if you see here the string is given as ab ab but here k is equal to 2 so that means that we uh, we can do two replacements uh, either replace uh, a or we can replace b but we will get same output 4 right so that's what i said here so replace the two a's with two b's or vice versa so in example 2 we have same uh, but uh, little larger string here a a b a b b a but k is equal to 1 here so in this case uh, if we replace this a with b we'll get four b's like this or else if we replace this b with a we'll get four a's at the end of the day we get only four as a uh, maximum substring with the same repeating character so basically here the output is four so what are the constraints here they, so s length is the english range of 1 to 10 power 5 and s consists of only uppercase english letters and k is in the english range of 0 to s length so basically k won't go beyond s length so here uh, the moment we see the 10 power 5 uh, we should think of solving it in uh, o of n because when we do 10, uh, o of n square it would be uh, 10 to the power of 10 operations per second which is not possible so at most we can do only 10 power 8 operations so we can solve it in either o of n or o of log n not more than o of log n i mean to say so if you go for o of n square it would be 10 power 10 which is not possible so it would give us tld so approach dynamic sliding window with character frequency map so how does the algorithm starts with here so first is we use a hash map to count the character occurrence in the current window so basically here uh, we need to count the character occurrence in the current window to decide uh, what replacements can be made and then we use the two pointers left and right to represent the window boundaries so we expand the window by moving the right pointer and updating the frequency map and then we keep track of the maximum frequency of any character in the current window if the window size minus the maximum frequency is greater than k we shrink the window from the left because that means that we can't do more than the k replacements right so that's why when when window size minus frequency or max frequency is greater than k uh, like we can't perform any replacements and then we, we should shrink the window and then at, we need to calculate the maximum length of the window during the process so at the end we should return the maximum length so let's open the flowchart so here uh, we start with initializing the variables right left max count max length and cat count so here cat count is dictionary or hash map so here we initialize all these uh, four variables to zero and uh, basically these are uh, integers so first check we do is like if right pointer less than the length of the string so we, we use the two pointers right for iterating uh, to the string and then we maintain the window size with that and then if this is the case uh, so right pointer is to represent the rightmost uh, boundary of the window so here uh, if right pointer is less than the length of the string uh, then we update the frequency map with the character at the right pointer and then uh, we update the max count so what is the max count actually the max count is the max frequency of any character in the current window and then we calculate the window length how do we calculate the window length we have the right and left pointers right so it's to right minus left plus one so we are converting indices to length so we do plus one and then we calculate the characters to replace so how do we calculate that window length minus max count so if this is greater than k that means that uh, we can't do the uh, replacement side right? so we have to shrink the window if it is less than or equal to k then we update the max length and then we again check for this if right pointer less than the length of the string so the moment when it is greater than k we move the left pointer and we update the frequency map for after moving the le left pointer basically we need to shrink the window right? here we are updating the frequency map to remove any uh, character frequency that is outside of the window so here the moment the right pointer is greater than the length of the string we end the while loop and then we return the max length let's look at the tyrant uh, we have given string is s is equals to a a b a b b a and k is equals to 1 we know that the window size can be calculated using right minus plus plus 1 and uh, firstly we initialize all this left right and care count max length and max frequency so when it comes to iteration 1 uh, we have uh, left is equal to 0 and right is equal to 0 
so let's represent right using the screen pointer so we have the character count so we update the character count we have character we dealing with the s of right which is uh, a right so now we update this character count as a with one and then so what is the max frequency at this point of time so max frequency is max frequency max of max frequency comma character count of s of right so which is uh, basically this one right uh, max frequency is one so let's keep this here so what is the max length at this point of time so max length is max of max length comma window size what is the window size here so window size is right minus plus one which is one so max length is one so next is iteration two so we have uh, now we have to move the right pointer now so right would be at this one another a so right is at one now so here the character count is updated like uh, because a is uh, repeated twice now so we update a is equals to two and then here the max frequency also updated because we have a repeated for twice and then what is the max length now max length is equal to max of max length comma window size right now window size is two so that's why we have it to two so in the iteration three uh, we move the right pointer again we reach b so right is now at two so we, we have to update the character count b is equals to one here uh, and then what is the max frequency so now until at this point of time we, we have the max frequency is two right so what is basically max frequency we know right max is equal to max frequency of character count of s of right so we have the max frequency already at two and then character count of s of right is which is b now which is one so that is like max of two comma one is two so yeah i hope you got the idea of how to calculate the max frequency so next time i'll just uh, say what is the max frequency value because we do calculations in mind right of course so and then um, in the max length at this point of time it's just the max of uh, max length comma window size so what is the window size now window size is increased to three uh, so which is three now so iteration four so we have right at three now and then we move this pointer so now we have to update the character count so what is the character count here a is three and max frequency is we have three and what's the max length max length is equal to max of max and comma window size so now the window size is four so we have it at four so remember here we're not shrinking the window because uh, this window size minus max frequency is less than or equal to k uh, because like uh, window size is what 4 here and max frequency is what we have at 3 so 1 is less than or equal to 1 right so that's why we're not shrinking this window so listen to this one carefully why do we have this set basically at the first point so basically this uh, window size minus max frequency less than or equal to k ensures that we do not exceed the allowed number of replacements k if the difference between the window size and the maximum frequency of any character exceeds k it means that we need to shrink the window to maintain the constraint right because uh, we can replace only k characters at a time so that's why we have this so in iteration 5 we have right is equals to where 4 now so it should be pointing to here and then the frequency car car count here it is 2 so here max frequency is still 3 and the max length would be max of 4 comma 4 which is 4 here so here we need to shrink the window that means to say that we have to increment the left pointer so why do we do need to shrink the window here because we discussed right window size minus max frequency which is like window size is 5 here and max frequency is 3 uh, which is 2 2 is not less than or equal to k so 2 since 2 is greater than k which is 1 uh, so we can't do uh, more replacements here so that's why uh, we have to since we have to keep uh, the replacements to be within k we have to shrink the window size so for that shrinking the window first we need to ensure that the character count of the uh, ca characters which are like outside the window should be reduced right so uh, here we should reduce the character count of s of left so here character count of s of left is a we should reduce it by one so we, we should keep a is equal to two uh, and then here we should increment now the left pointer to one and then here the max length is max of four comma four so which is four here so iteration six the right would be at five so this would be moving to here and then we, we need to update the character count so we, here we have uh, b replay thrice so we keep it 3 so here the max frequency is 3 and then uh, what is the window size here so window size is uh, how much uh, right minus f plus 1 so what is the right here uh, 5 5 minus uh, 1 4 4 plus 1 so basically 5 4 5 uh, minus 3 uh, it is 2 greater than 1 so that's why we need to uh, shrink the window before shrinking the window we need to ensure that we remove the a left characters count right so that's why i need to make a equal to one 
and then we need to update the left pointer which is 2 so now it points to p left pointer so after this uh, we're left with the max length which is like max of 4 comma 4 so still it's 4 iteration 7 so now here uh, s uh, right would be at 6 which is this index and then here the character count we need to update right a becomes 2 here since in this window we have a repeated for twice we have it 2 so here uh, the max frequency is till 3 and then uh, we need to check this condition window minus uh, max frequency less than or equal to k or not so window size what is the window size here 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then max frequency what is the max frequency it is 3 so is obviously greater than k so 2 greater than k so that's why we need to shrink the window so, so now we need to reduce the character count of the s of left so that means to say that we need to make p equal to 2 and then we need to uh, update the left pointer to point to the next one so left becomes 3 so now the max length is max of uh, 4 comma 4 which is 4 so now uh, in the next iteration uh, iteration 8 so here uh, right becomes greater than the length of the string so we exit the loop and then we return the length of the longest substring up with utmost one replacement which is 4 so let's look at the code explanation so firstly we initialize the character count which is the hash map and then we have the max length max frequency and left initialize to 0 uh, and then uh, we're doing the right in the range of length of string this basically to have the right pointer uh, moving in the string so here uh, uh, we use the for loop so that's why we kept right here else if we use the while loop we can keep it right right inside to zero outside and then we iterate to the right pointer and left pointer so firstly here we're doing the updating the character count so character count is updated using the character count of s of right uh, and then uh, we're doing dot get here to this is to adjust for the cases when we don't have the character in the hash map so in that case we'll get zero here uh, since like this the default value is given as 0 and then uh, if it is there we get the character count as of right plus 1 so basically for each occurrence we are doing plus 1 and then um, after that we update the max frequency we know the formula right max frequency is max of max frequency comma character count uh, of s of right so basically this check is required uh, to ensure uh, we do the right replacements this we already discussed so and then we update in the character count uh, of left because we shrinking the window uh, in this case we need to reduce the character count of left to be minus one and then we increment the left pointer here so after that uh, we do the max length calculation which is max of max length comma uh, right minus plus one so basically this is the window size right at the end uh, after iterating all the string uh, we return the max length so complex analysis here time complexity is o of n so here the algorithm runtime in o of n because them runs in o of n time uh, where n is the length of the string so each character is processed at most twice so once uh, expanding the window and once when shrinking the window so that's why uh, we have it uh, only o of n so uh, the space complexity here is o of 1 because uh, no matter what the given size of the input string we'll have only the 26 characters in the hash map that's why it's a constant space and it is not growing with the input size so it's always o of 1 Demo on conclusion. So I got the code ready here. Let's try submitting this. So yeah, this is the accept solution and bit is a 93% at most like 94% here because 93.5. Conclusion. So in this sliding window approach, the window length is not fixed. It adjusts dynamically as the algorithm processes each character and ensures the window is valid by making necessary adjustments. The ability to expand and shrink the window based on the constraints that is the number of characters that needs to be replaced allows the algorithm to efficiently find the longest substring that meets the criteria. Thank you for tuning to this episode of Hackwood. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and bonus on tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.